Well, Susie School remained in session because the school corporation felt they had a clear picture on what they were dealing with. And it didn't take long for numbers to trend in a healthier direction at Otter Creek. Once a school sees 20% of its student body absent for one day, that must be reported to the state. If it's health related, the local health department also gets a call. A 20% absence rate sounds like a lot to you and me, and it is, but the school corporation says it's not unheard of this time of year, and they never considered closing school because of it. Historically, you look back at weeks 19, 20, 21, uh, that's where we are in the calendar that, you know, you could see these things probably occur. This time of year, school secretaries use this form when a parent or guardian calls a student in sick for the day. Notice it asks about flu-like symptoms in question number two. This gives the school corporation an idea of how big an impact the flu is making on specific school populations. We were ahead of this. Uh, we've been talking about it for a few weeks, developing a checklist, so we made sure that we're documenting these things as they call in. Dr. Darren Brucken with the Vigo County Health Department said flu numbers remain steady here in Vigo County, but we're shifting from influenza A to influenza B. Influenza A has more cough and respiratory related symptoms. If you have influenza B, you're going to have more vomiting and nausea. He says wash your hands often and if you're sick, just stay home and get well. Back to you.